I hope you're having a great day. But for those days where it's not so great, where you're struggling, today's message is for you. Today we look at some Christians in an ancient Asian city who endured suffering. And um, at one point they did it very well. But as time passed, they began to let go of some things that were very important to them. So let me read to you what Jesus said to these Christians. I know that you live in the city where Satan has his throne. And yet you have remained loyal to me. You refused to deny me even when Antipas, my faithful witness, was martyred among you there in Satan's city. Here's a group of believers that held on to their faith at one point in their history. Jesus remembers a time for them and with them when one of their faithful followers died for his faith in Jesus Christ. And during that event, as horrific as it sounds, They stood next to Jesus. They clung to him. They held on to Jesus through that season. And so we see today the importance, uh, just the fundamental nature of holding on to Jesus Christ, holding on to your faith. You see, we also have difficulties in our lives, some more than others. And in those difficulties, we're often tempted to, to let go of what we believe. We are often pressed and stressed to to stop believing in the goodness of God and in the care of Jesus Christ. And so the thing we have to remember today is no matter what happens, no matter what we go through, we must continue, we can continue to hold on to Jesus Christ. Because what happened to these believers is that they came to a point that they drifted away. They let go of their faith. Listen to Jesus' charge against them. I have a few complaints against you. You tolerate some among you whose teaching is like that of Balaam, who showed Balak how to trip up the people of Israel. He taught them to sin by eating food offered to idols and by committing sexual sin. In a similar way, you have some Nicolaitans among you who follow the same teaching. Repent of your sin, or I will come to you suddenly and fight against them with the sword of my mouth. For these believers in Pergamum, At one time, they held on to Jesus. In a sense, they were holding on to the hand of Christ in faith. But somewhere along the way, some people crept in. Some people who didn't really hold Jesus dear. They were much more interested in living for themselves or living for money. And so Jesus wasn't their priority. Their own personal happiness and comfort was their priority. But I'm sure on the surface, these seemed like fine people, good people. And we reach a point in the history of these believers where Jesus is pointing out to them, you need to look and pay attention because you used to be walking next to me, holding on to me. But now you're holding on to others and they are not what they seem to be. Have you ever been at an event, maybe the fair, something that was a crowd of people, and you were with someone that you enjoyed being with, and maybe you got distracted for a second, and you thought you were right next to them, and you turned around to speak to them, and they weren't there, and you were looking at the face of someone you didn't know. That's kind of how I envision the spiritual nature of what was happening to these believers. They they were following Jesus. They loved Jesus. But some other people came alongside them, people who were actually strangers spiritually. And now Jesus has drawn attention to the fact that you're not where you think you are. Sometimes we get like that. We let life pull us away from our faith in Christ and from our walk with Christ. We wake up one day and we're busy doing all kinds of things and we're spending no time with Jesus. We're not going to a a church and, and worshiping. We're not spending time in the Bible learning about Jesus Christ. We're not spending time with people who are learning about Jesus Christ. And, and, and we're just busy and we still have friends. We still have people around us. But they're not people who care about the things of God, that care about the things that matter most to us. Because when you come to faith in Jesus, He matters most to you. So what do we do? How do we come out of that? Jesus said this, Then He said to the crowd, If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way, take up your cross daily, and follow me. Jesus' answer is to hold on to Him, to hold on to Jesus. Don't let go of your faith. Don't get distracted from God's Word. Don't get distracted from your spiritual growth. 
Stay close to Jesus. Learn about Him. Love Him. Experience Him. Become like Him. Get to know Him and become like Him. Don't let the negative influences in your life trap you. Don't let the busyness of life draw you away. Don't let a myriad of good things keep you away from the best thing. Hold on to Jesus Christ. He's amazing. He's wonderful. He's everything you're looking for. Often we are trying to find security or peace or value or validation. All, often in our lives, that's what we're looking for. And Jesus is all of those things to us. And the things that we try and find it in from other people, from tasks, from jobs, employment, from recreation, from sports, none of those can give the validation, the security, and the personal peace that only Jesus can give. In fact, Paul said in one text that Jesus can give a peace that passes all understanding. The, the simplicity of today's message, I mean, it's, it's a message about one thing. Hold on to Jesus. Don't let go. Don't let go of your faith in Jesus Christ. And you will be so at peace. You will be so restored. I pray that for you today. I pray that you will hold on.